Hi, I'm Dr. Zachary Cole, and in today's video, we're going to be discussing the difference between diagnostic lab testing, something called functional lab testing, and how they both relate to GI-based conditions like leaky gut, colitis, and IBS. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to share my number one recommended test that we use for GI-based conditions in patients inside of our coaching program. Now, let's start with diagnostic testing first. If a person has GI-based symptoms and they go to their doctor or go to a hospital, generally, they're going to receive a test like an endoscopy, colonoscopy, abdominal CT scan, abdominal ultrasound, or a stool sample. Now, the goal of those tests is to either roll in or roll out a condition. Does a person have this diagnosis or do they not? If a test comes back positive and a person gets diagnosed with a condition, now a series of treatments can begin, like an antibiotic, a surgery, or some type of a medical intervention based upon whatever that diagnosis is. So that's the goal of, of mainstream medicine when you walk into like a hospital or a doctor's office. Diagnose the condition, do they have it, what label is given to that condition, what treatment then is based upon that label. Now. There's another type of lab test that I use and recommend called functional lab testing. And in the case of functional testing, just like it sounds, the goal of that type of test is to evaluate the function of an organ or systems of organs and how they're functioning internally. You know, very rarely will a person go from having great health to having symptoms in one day, right? Generally, there's a decline in their health. They don't feel quite as well. Symptoms begin to show up. So they go to their doctor, like we already said, and they get tested. And sometimes if a person hasn't declined enough to where they can be diagnosed or reach a pathologic condition, the test will come back negative. The doctor says, hey, you know, nothing looks wrong here. We're going we're to continue to monitor it. But the patient knows they don't quite feel well. You know, that was my own story. In fact, I've done a webinar on this. You can click below here. I won't share a ton in this short video right now. But my own health story in regards to digestion is I felt that same way. I was having all these symptoms show up, gallbladder, pancreas, poor digestion, losing weight, malabsorption, abdominal pain. So I went to my sister, who I'm, I'm thankful. She, she's a medical sonographer. I was blessed to have a sister who I, would get, I could go to like that a medical sonographer who scanned my abdomen and I figured, okay, I'm going to go get some answers there. Well, I went in to see her over a couple of different times over a few months because I wanted to keep the figure that had to be something we could find. But every single test, she kept saying, you know, everything looks great here. Gallbladder, pancreas, stomach, I could see everything. Everything looks normal. Well, as my health continued to decline and I continued to feel worse, I then went to a medical friend doctor of mine who set, me up, who set me up with an abdominal CT scan at a local hospital. And I hate imaging studies like that. I've never done an injection or anything, but I was getting desperate to find some answers. So I, so I went there thinking, okay, I don't want to do this, but I'm desperate. I finally got to find some answers as to why I feel this way. This will help me to do so. Well, just like the ultrasound my sister did, the CT scan results came back negative. Everything looked normal. All the organs looked fine. You know, he said, we'll continue to monitor it. Everything looks normal. Do I want to take any medication? I said, no, I wanted to get to the root cause of this. So there's a test, an at-home stool test called a GI map test. And this is the test that I used at home to, to start getting some answers in regards to what was going on internally with my own body. Once I, and once I was able to get those answers, now I could begin taking the right approach to address the underlying root cause of why I had these symptoms and I began to get better. The reason why I like this test is because it's the most comprehensive test. It's simple to do and it gives us tons of answers in relation to the digestive system as a whole. So if you think about a typical stool test at a doctor's office, there might be a few pathogen tests to look at E. coli or C. diff or did a person eat some you know, contaminated food and that's about it, maybe a few parasite cultures. However, in this test, there's a whole laundry list of pathogens that will look at to see are there any bad guys infecting the gut, but also it will show what are all the good guys doing in the gut? How's the health of your microbiome? Do you have enough good bacteria cultures in there? Are there any viruses or bacteria or parasites or worms or candida and fungal overgrowth that are rocking the boat or causing imbalances in the system? So from an internal ecology of the microbiome, there's nothing that parallels this test because it's a DNA test for the presence of those organisms in the gut. Additionally, there's a GI health panel in this test that will show in black and white, does a person have leaky gut or not? Are they gluten sensitive? What's their GI immune system doing? Is their colon eliminating old hormones and toxins or are they being reabsorbed again? Is there inflammation in the gut and to what level is the inflammation? Are there trace amounts of blood in the stool? How's the gallbladder and the pancreas functioning to break down food? All these important markers that gives you in one test to give you the, the whole internal picture, the function of your GI system. So like I said, once I was able to get those results 
and figure out what was going on internally, now I could take targeted actions to address the root cause of why I had these symptoms and I began to get well again. So we use this test for all of our clients. If you would like to learn more about this test, about my journey and how we help people address the root cause of leaky gut, IBS, colitis, and other GI-based conditions, I've done a webinar that you can find beneath this video. In fact, if you click the button beneath here, it'll take you to our landing page, enter your information there, and it'll take you to a free webinar you can watch where there's no fluff, no filler. I share real content. I share the things that I used in my own health journey to regain my health and the tools and the strategies that we use to help our patients as well. Look, there's nothing to buy here. In fact, at the end of the webinar, there, there's nothing to buy at all, but there will be an opportunity for anyone who would like additional help after watching that free video. So once again, click the button beneath here. It'll take you to the free webinar. Watch that, and I look forward to seeing you inside the free training. Have a great day.